All right, guys, so we're in my wife's Forester tonight. We're going to go pick up some throttle body cleaner for my Subaru. Um, so I don't want to get it all hot and bothered. Because <laughs> um, I want to clean the throttle body, like, right now. It's like 9 p.m. I'm a night shifter, so this is uh, normal for me. <laughs> That's why it's kind of sometimes hard to record stuff. A little quick update, too. Um, Someone had asked if I still enjoyed the sound in the cabin, if it was okay. Um, it's phenomenal. It's perfect, because it lets people know there's a little bit more to it, and it lets me know, and I enjoy the growl. Um, but it's also not that obnoxious. Um, I'll let it get warmed up a bit, and we can, we can do a pull, and you guys can hear it a little bit better. So here's a little bit of a pull. I was hoping that it would uh, switch gears, uh, but I also don't want to do 80 miles an hour in town. <laughs> um, because when it switches gears, it just oh, it just has this wonderful transition noise, um, and it just it sounds so good. I really like it. But it, I don't know how well you guys heard, but um, it isn't too loud. It's just loud enough for this vehicle <laughs> it can always be louder and funner but uh, for the daily that we drive around more often and uh, the one that we take on the highway long road trips I don't want a drone and this doesn't have that So now that you can actually see me, um, I don't really like going to Walmart, to be quite frank. But if I do go, I like to go late, later in the day, because there's way less people. Um, don't necessarily mind people, but when the store's packed and all that, people are not as easily tolerable. What can you do? That's why I like cars. I just realized that I haven't actually told you the reason why uh, I want to clean the throttle body and that is the car has a dying issue when I drop the clutch um, it doesn't do it all the time um, and originally I thought that it was the leak in the gas tank well it isn't the leak in the gas tank and it threw a code P050A which is the throttle body, cold air start, something or another. I forget exactly. Um, when I looked it up online, it looked like it could be several, several things. Uh, when I talked to my tuner about it, he said it's linked to a dirty throttle body um, and try cleaning that. So here we are. So I gotta finagle my way in there. A little challenging, but we'll get there. Well, that was easier than I thought. Um, got a visitor. Hi! Hi, Bobbies. She's just like, okay, what do I do? <laughs> um, honestly, I, I've only gotten a quick glance, but... Uh, that does not look that dirty. 
Why don't you guys? You guys can probably got better. Okay, well, that's clean as a whistle, and didn't really have much on it, so I don't think that's the dying issue, honestly. So the hunt continues. But until then, we can do some pulls uh, tomorrow morning, because I've got to log some more uh, for my tuner. Uh, we're still on pump gas. And I'm hoping that we're going to be going to E85 soon. So, tomorrow morning. So, it's actually not really morning, but um, it's, it's close enough to morning for me. Because I work night shift. So, get over it. Some of you may have also noticed these glasses are completely different. So, last week when I was down in Missouri, I jumped off of a cliff. It was at this moment, he knew, he messed up. I had my glasses on and I completely forgot to take them off or hold them in my hand. Someone had distracted me, so now I'm on my backup pair of glasses. <laughs> so I need to order another pair. So today, we're just gonna button this up um, because the throttle body is clean. So I don't know exactly what the issue is. I've noticed that bringing up the idle a couple hundred RPM makes a pretty pretty decent difference. Uh, it doesn't do it near as much. And then we're gonna go do some pulls, um, just for tuner purposes, really. This is gonna be coming up shortly. I'm super excited about doing this. Um, I'm just trying to find time that my wife will have, because I really want to involve her, because it's her car. Um, and she wants to do it. She's just in school right now. She's in a rigorous math course right now that is uh, taking her soul. Sweet, that wasn't that bad at all. Let's go ahead and upload the new map and then uh, do some pulls. Sounds fun enough, easy enough. Log again. <laughs> Dang it. We'll do the right here. Logging. <laughs> this is the moment I open up the electronic dump.
Will you die? You didn't die? Hey! It looks like... It looks like he brought it up to a thousand RPM uh, for idle, which is about where I was at when I was adjusting it by myself and I noticed a, a, a difference. So hopefully it'll happen less. We'll see. Logging again. Logging, AC off. Obviously, you guys seen that a cop was right there. So, after the first pull, um, I, I heard a pshh. I was like, mm, that's not good. So, I got out of the car and... Oh, so that was really loud. Did you guys hear that? Um, hi. Um... um the tube going out of the wastegate um, wasn't clamped down enough and it like blew off. And a cop pulled up literally right there and was like, are you doing okay? And I said, oh yeah, it's just, um, just a tube off of the turbo system. He was like, okay, but you don't need anything? I was like, no, I just can't go into booths. I was like, which you probably don't want me to anyways. And he just, I don't think he understood what I was talking about, but that's okay. Cause it was still kind of fun for me. So. Also, we had zero issues of it dying when I would hit the clutch. So I don't know if it was his tune, which just brought up the idol or if it was me cleaning that throttle body a little bit, which it really didn't seem that dirty to me. I guess there was enough around where it mated. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but it's not dying on me. So that makes me happy, really happy actually. Thanks for watching guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like for the video, hit the notification bell so you can get my videos whenever they come out. Appreciate you watching.